We all know Pittsburgh is the city of bridges, steel bridges, that is, but many bridges were made of wood and builders used covers to protect them from harsh weather. Engineers found that they lasted three times longer than an uncovered bridge. And they must have been right because we still have several standing in our area. And this weekend you can see 10 of those bridges at the EQT Covered Bridge Festival, and that is in Washington and Greene counties. Mikey Hood is live on the Krebs Bridge in Washington County where they have a lot of activities there and it's going to be a great weekend. Hey, Mikey, what's going on? Selena, David, it's a beautiful time of year. The weather is cooling off. The leaves are changing. It's a perfect time for a fall festival. The EQT Covered Bridge Festival is this weekend, and things are underway already. And I have Ron Stewart with me, and he's going to tell us all about it. Now, Ron, this is the Krebs Bridge behind us, and it covered bridges have some special meaning. Yes, uh, the bridges were covered because if you think about it, with, uh, with horses going across them, you had to keep uh, rain and snow and ice off of them. But also, because they were covered, they were called kissing bridges. And it was not uncommon for a young couple as they went across in a buggy to stop somewhere in the middle of the bridge and uh, maybe take a moment to, to kiss one another. This bridge is, was built in the 1850s. It's been here for in this spot for over 150 years. It's a working bridge. This is farm country. This goes up to farms above us. And so uh, it continues to be repaired and, and maintained today. And it's still a kissing bridge. Oh, that's cool. And so what can people expect at the festival? I see they're getting set up over there. Yes, um, all of the, the, this is, of course, the weekend for the uh, covered bridge festivals in, in Washington and Greene County. There are 10 bridges. Ours is one of them. And they all have about the same sort of thing. We have uh, food. We have vendors. We have a kid's zone. We have entertainment. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a family-friendly atmosphere. It's free parking, free admission, free entertainment. And it's a really good opportunity for people to get out and enjoy the outdoors in this time of year. Sounds like fun, Ron. So speaking of entertainment, Phil Chandler, he is the entertainment chair. What do you have? Your lineup is extensive. And quite eclectic, too. We have a, a number of local groups covering music from, from the 50s to the present, contemporary Christian, country, rock and roll, uh, American uh, folk music. Uh, we also have uh, a couple of bands that we're bringing in. Uh, one is uh, acoustic classic rock and country band Hat Trick is coming in. Uh, another band is the Mansfield Five, uh, which is widely known in the Pittsburgh area. They're a cover band. They do everything from doo-wop to Motown to everything else. And uh, the first time this year, we're having a, a bluegrass band. We're having the Lonesome, Lost, and Foggy. I just love that name. Yeah. Lo that's, that's me, Lonesome, Lost, and Foggy. Aww. Stay no, no, too no, long. I, I got too many kids and, and a lovely wife to be okay. lonesome. But. Okay, good. It was just a joke. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we know there's plenty of music, plenty of good dancing, but also some, some fun for kids, too. Yes, we have a, uh, I think, again, most of the bridges have an area for kids. Uh, ours has a, a zip uh, line for kids. It also, uh, we have, I think, the only bridge with actually has a troll, and we have a, a bounce area. And so parents can take their kids and uh, leave them there, and we'll watch over them while they have an opportunity to go sit down and watch the entertainment or visit our, our vendors. And so it's a real, as I said, very family-friendly atmosphere. So, so much fun. So where should people come, and what are the hours? Uh, uh, the hours for ours are Saturday from 10 till 6 and Sunday from 10 till 4, and we have a church service here at 8.30 in the morning. All right, well, sounds like so much fun, uh, the Covered Bridge Festival. It happens this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. You can look for a full calendar of events celebrating the American spirit. And thanks to Washington County. Visit Washington County for sponsoring this segment. We'll send it back to you guys. I love it. Thanks, Mikey. And she's wearing that famous jean jacket I said, she talked I about. I said, that looks like the famous <laughs> jean jacket. It is indeed. <laughs> well, something else going on around town that is also exciting. The annual KDKA Radio Spaghetti Breakfast is underway. Mm -mm -mm. We have our forks ready, but we've not oh, been yeah. able to eat anything yet. <laughs> Ron Smiley is there right now to get his second breakfast. Ron, are there any meatballs left? You know, it is very loud out here. I can barely hear you guys, but man, there's a lot of energy here. This is uh, Hans Hall Garden Plaza. The, the action got started really early at 5 o'clock this morning, and it goes all the way up until 10 o'clock. So you still have time to get out here to get you some spaghetti. You're probably saying, what is going on? This is the 35th annual KDK Radio Breakfast. And you say, well, what do they have? What are they serving for breakfast? Well, of course... It is spaghetti, 
and meatballs. That's what they are. That is what they are um, uh, looking at or serving right now. I want to just scroll back and just show you some of the celebrity uh, folks that are uh, serving the, sp the meatballs and the spaghetti. Rick's trying to lay low back there. Let me, let me see if I can get him. Rick! Rick! <laughs> All right, I don't know if I can get them or not. You can see Andy Amron back there. There's Rick. Look at him. <laughs> he still has a clean white shirt on. How does he do that? John right next to him, you know him on PTL. He's hosted several times on the uh, You Jag Off podcast, him and his partner in crime. She's somewhere back there as well. A lot of activity going on here. Uh, you can get down all the way up until 10 o'clock today and enjoy some fresh hot spaghetti some sausage, some baked goods as well. You can listen to live music right there on 6th Street. And they also have artwork that is being auctioned off by Jono. He's also been on PTL with some amazing artwork as well. So there's a lot going on. Some celebrity presenters. We just showed you Rick and John behind us. We also have Andy Amrine. He's back there somewhere laying low. Looks like they're not having a lot of business right now. So you guys get down. I know it was busy early on. It's starting to kind of slow down a little bit before the wrap. But, yeah, if you got time, come down here. All benefits from this, it's free. The spaghetti dinner, at least, is free. All benefits go to the Sisters of the Poor right here in Pittsburgh for a great cause as well. All right, guys, I can't hear you guys, uh, but I'm going to toss it back to you live uh, just off of uh, outside of Heinz Hall. Ron Smiley here. Oh, Ron, it's busy over there. But you know what? Even if you say, you know, I don't want to have spaghetti and meatballs for breakfast, you can go and save it for lunch. That's true. And they also have baked items. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, well, yeah. Good stuff. And I'm ready for the spaghetti. I, I'm as ready soon for as the my show is round. over. Yes. <laughs> Wow, just ahead, you've seen the ads, you know the jingle, ooh, Armina Stone. Well, up next, I take you on a field trip to Armina Stone to show you how they create beautiful countertops and a whole lot more. You sang that well, good job. <laughs> and we take a look back at some of our favorite moments from this week on PTL as we get ready to say, that's a wrap.